Hi students, good evening again. Uh, we were discussing about the economic order quantity in the previous lectures. We have discussed that what is the concept of economic order quantity and how we calculate through the tabular method. Uh, so just as a brief revision for that, what is the economic order quantity? Economic order quantity means that we have a three things here. Every company which has an inventory, obviously they have to buy it. So how much they have to order? Which quantity they have to order, which is economical for them. Economical for them means they have a two main cost. The cost with respect to the ordering and the cost with respect to the carrying. Means if they are having some inventory, when they are ordering that inventory, they have to pay something. So that is the ordering cost. And then obviously when they are purchasing that inventory, they have to keep it somewhere. So there are so many expenses for the storage and all these things. So that is the carrying cost. So we have discussed in the previous lectures that they are, have an inverse relationship. Means if the ordering cost is increasing, the carrying cost is decreasing. Or if the carrying cost is increasing, the ordering cost is decreasing. So how to calculate that point where the total cost is at the minimum level or which is the most economic order quantity which they have to buy. Today we will discuss uh, with the help of the formula that how the economic order quantity is calculated and how the number of orders are calculated. So first of all we have a very simple information that the company has a total requirement, the annual requirement which they need for the whole year. The annual requirement of the company is how much? They have a 24,000 units. So these are the 24,000 units which they have to buy. This is the requirement for the whole year. Now the ordering cost means whenever they give the order, they have to pay almost $200 per order. So this is the ordering cost. Then whenever they are purchasing the material, whatsoever is the material, the price of that material, the cost of that material is how much that is $10 per unit. And the carrying cost is 25% of price or the 25% of the cost. Means if they are buying one unit to keep with them, to carry that one, to store them, they need a 25%. So it means we can say like a $2.5 per unit. So this is what, this is the carrying cost of the product. So in this way, we are calculating that how we have an annual requirement, we have ordering cost, we have a carrying cost. So all these information that we have, so we need first one, the second one and the third one. These three information we need for the calculation of economic order quantity. So we have a formula, economic order quantity formula to multiply by annual requirement. We have annual requirement here, 24,000 units. Then we have a ordering cost. It is how much? It is $200. Then amount is divided by the carrying cost. It is how much we have calculated? $2.5 per unit and whole under root. We have to take the whole under root of that one, okay, or the square root or the under root that we have. So here we have a formula to multiply by annual requirement. So if we just put it here, so two multiply by 24,000, multiply by 200 and divided by 2.5. And if we calculate, the answer is almost 1960 units. 1960 units they have to buy whenever they are buying whenever they are giving the order they have to buy how many units 1960 unit it is approximately obviously not the exact one so if we look at that the next thing that we can calculate is what is how many orders they have to give so the next thing that we have the number of orders so number of order is the annual requirement divided by economic order quantity. So here we have a 24,000 divided by 1960. Okay. So, the, so 24,000 unit is the annual requirement and the economic order quantity we have calculated almost 1960. So answer is almost 12. Now we cannot write in the decimal places like the answer will be 12 point something 12.1 or 2 but we cannot write why because obviously we can give one order or we can give two order it is not possible that we give 1.23 orders 
obviously there's a one order there's a zero order or there's a two order so there's no decimal places so that's why it means the company or the business has to give how many orders so it is 12 orders 12 orders means what right, that every month so if we divide it by the number of the month so every month they have to give the order and how many units they have to buy obviously 1960 so if we again make it as a like a or all value so it will be like not in 2000 so it will be 1960 was the answer but because we are giving the order of 12 times in a year so what we need we need the 2000 unit per order so economic order quantity approximately means it is a rounded off value so it is 2000 units so 2000 unit is the economic order quantity and how many times they have to give the order 12 times in a year they have to give the orders the number of orders are 12 it means every month they have to give the order so this is the concept that how the economic order quantity is calculated so we have a simple formula 2 multiplied by annual requirement it was 24,000 the ordering cost was given the carrying cost you have calculated with the price and the percentage which is given then we just put the values over here and we got almost 1960 but just to round it out it is how many units 2000 units so 2000 units means what it is almost 12 orders they have to give in every year so 12 times they have to buy so this point their total cost means the carrying cost plus the ordering cost the total cost will be at the minimum level as we have discussed in the earlier lectures uh, through the tabular form so there is a point where there is a total cost is at the minimum level so here when they are buying 2000 units every month they are buying so their cost will be minimum if they will buy more than that or if they will buy less than that obviously that will not be economic order quantity so this is the point 2000 units they have to buy in every order so this is considered as well as the economic order quantity i hope you have understood that concept but still if you have a question if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you very much